Hi everyone, I'm Margarit Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're actually going to start exploring the whole finding your style topic. And I decided actually to start with something that's very prominent, especially on the TikTok and other social platforms. Everyone's talking about aesthetics and your aesthetic and how to get that and how to know which your aesthetic is, etc., etc. Like all the stuff aesthetic wise. And I feel like the problem with the whole aesthetic approach is that in order to know what your aesthetic is you need to kind of start getting to know yourself and something about you and then about your style and then get to know the aesthetic that you like and that's kind of a continuation of yourself because otherwise what ends up happening is that something's just popular like cottage core mermaid core the scandy girl aesthetic and people are just going for that because it's absolutely everywhere it's very popular and it's not necessarily something that is a continuation of your personality as much as it is just like a new fad that everyone's doing and you're just repeating it so for me personally and if you know me you know i feel like style is a basically an instrument to express yourself and your personality with the help of clothes and accessories so from that perspective i feel like there's a huge chunk of information on that path of finding yourself that's lacking that is going to help you elevate your personal style and get to know yourself better and also kind of come up with your aesthetic that's actually a continuation of your personality as opposed to just something that everyone's doing and without further ado let's just start and i've collected a couple not a couple a few steps for you and you can try them out yourself and obviously let me know in the comments below if they work for you or not and these steps actually within the scope of my career and i've been working as a personal stylist basically for over 10 years now which sounds absolutely crazy and these things are actually tried and true things to work out who you are in terms of clothes and how they represent who you are <music> So the first step to actually finding your aesthetic is, I'd suggest going to create like a very versatile, do not overthink this step, please create a mood board of all the saves that you have on your social media, on your Instagrams and stuff. I know there's tons and I know people save stuff but actually never come back to all of those saves. So this is actually a moment for you to get there and take a screenshot or like save the, these images on Pinterest and Instagram and just save everything that inspires you style-wise. This could be a look from a fashion blogger, a personal stylist, a look from a runway, a street style, maybe like some shop or a brand that created like a dress or something that you liked, everything and anything that inspired you in that moment fashion-wise. Collect everything that's the first step don't overthink it the next step is divide and group these saves by aesthetics and similarities so when you look at these test saves you'll see definitely a lot of the same things and this is actually a good thing because actually this gives you a certain indication that you have a pattern of style of thinking that you kind of like some similar things which is good because this is actually gives you an indication that you kind of have an inkling of your personal style so for example you see a lot of looks with like mini skirts and plain white shirts and then some trousers and then some suits some tailored things and these are gonna go like the whole matilda jerf aesthetic these are gonna go into the like minimalistic vibe slash group and then you're gonna see a lot of for example like flowy dresses and crop tops and flower prints and stuff and these are gonna go into a different group you can name them you don't have to name them first just group them into different groups by similarities and after that what you do you'll look at the amount of things in there so for example one group could have like 
50 photos and pictures and stuff like dresses some close-ups street style blah 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 and one group could have like two which means you're leaning more towards those who are the bigger group so try to eliminate first of all the groups that are not like prominent or at least not as prominent as the other ones and then what i suggest you do leave the rest of all of those groups to rest just for a second and then what you need to do sit down or stand up whatever position you would like to do this in and write down at least 10 adjectives that describe first of all your personality and the problem with this is I've heard about the whole three word style or something like a three word approach and it's it's an amazing approach actually but the problem with this approach is that in order to say three words about your style or the style that you would like to have is that you need to actually know which style you'd like to have and what most people do is that when they select these three words these three words these three adjectives actually describe a style that they like on others which is totally different totally different because what looks good on you what works for you and what's actually a reflection of your personality is not necessarily something that's going to look good on others and vice versa if you know what i mean so what you need to start with is actually thinking about who you are like romantic and maybe spontaneous and maybe you're classic or maybe you're very like strict etc write down at least 10 of those words and then just stop for a second and these do not necessarily have to be words these could actually be even phrases that describe you and who you are as a person then keep going and write down at least 10 words or phrases that describe your lifestyle so this could be an active lifestyle you do office work all of these small little things that are basically like requirements of your life look at your daily routine what you do do you have a lot of sports are you an active person do you do a lot of sports or do you not do a lot of sports do you have an office job is that a strict office job write down those kind of requirements that correlate with your lifestyle and then you have these two basically like lists you have a list of who you are as a person your personality and then you have a list of your lifestyle requirements and what you're gonna do with this is match these two columns to those groups of photos and fashion inspiration that you have and those groups that do not match those two kind of adjective groups will not make it so for example if you are a romantic like naive relaxed person and then you have a similar like not very active lifestyle and you do not have a work that's very strict about a dress code then definitely a romantic slash like feminine group of photos and fashion inspiration is going to work for you within your lifestyle and is going to be a continuation of your personality which is the end goal of having one style for me personally this is I feel like the end goal for everyone or should be at least and then for example you have a couple of words about you they're saying something like you're a stricter person you're more reserved you'd like to have a more professional like relationship with people at your work and stuff maybe you are a CEO or a person who has a kind of a powerful position position in a corporation and you would like people to not necessarily like respect you more but pay attention to what you say more and you would like to feel more official and collected income etc and then your lifestyle is not too active etc blah 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 and you have office work that has some dress requirements and these kind of adjectives and descriptions would work amazingly with a group that's going to be minimalist slash classic and this is the way you pick and choose those fashion inspiration groups that work together with your lifestyle and with your personality and all the others let's just leave them there for a beat and then 
at the moment when you don't feel like you have an inspiration and stuff, you can always come back to them and experiment with some of those things. Let's say you have like a very like 2000s slash Hadid, Balenciaga futuristic group, but it doesn't work with any of your groups at the moment. Just leave it there, leave it be. And when you feel uninspired, you can always come back to those things and pick and choose like simple little accessories and stuff to mix into your outfits. Then out of those saves, like you have like a romantic aesthetic and whatever aesthetic that works for you, for your lifestyle and your personality, you don't necessarily have to recreate whole total outfits because obviously this is not going to be a complete representation of yourself because basically you're just copying some other people, what they're doing, what they're wearing. So in order to make it your own, Try and look for items in that fashion inspiration board that inspire you and excite you. Not necessarily a whole outfit, but maybe you're looking at Matilda Jerv's look and you see like a specific skirt within the outfit that excites you. And then you can try and find something similar and add your own spin to this specific item by mixing it with something very basic and classic. This is the easiest and tried and true outfit formula. Do not go for the whole vibe. If you're doing the mermaid core, try not to go overboard and do everything mermaid core or everything that's flowering, flowy, etc. Because it's very easy to do too much too quickly. So what I'm suggesting as opposed to that is try and start with something very specific. Try to narrow down the approach and add on something very basic that's not going to distract from the main thing. And then once you've done that, you can always come back and try to add something more if you feel like your outfit is not finished enough, it's not complete enough, it's not deep enough, whatever it is. But for most people actually one item that's like a focus item is absolutely enough. And this is the basis of your approach. You start with something that's very your picked aesthetic, then you add something that's very kind of basic slash classy, then you create a look, then you live in this look or those looks, and then and you kind of reflect and come back and think, okay, I can add a couple more things. And this is honestly, tried and true, the best approach to one's personal style in terms of aesthetics. Because this is basically the approach within which you have the distinct connection between who you are and your style and clothes and accessories in this instance are just like a vessel or an instrument for you to reflect your personality as opposed to a thing that you're copying or you've seen on someone else and to me this is the truest approach to fashion and to one style that has ever existed in this universe and this is it for this video. This is the way to find one's personal aesthetic. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video, if these things and these tips were helpful for you. And when you've tried this one, definitely let me know and give me some feedback on that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.